Flanked by prosecutors from some of New Jersey's toughest counties, Governor Christie proposed the amendment as a way to give judges more discretion to keep those charged with violent crimes off the streets until their trials. It's a proposal he made during his State of the State address last month. Uh, this long overdue common sense measure can only improve the quality of life in our communities by keeping the most violent criminals off the streets and ease the minds of uh, folks around the state um, against those who have been uh, charged with violent crime. Attorney General Jeff Chiesa says New Jersey's judicial system, which guarantees bail for every defendant, should follow the federal system, which allows for judicial discretion. He says victims in the state need the extra protection that this bail reform would provide. If you're the victim of a crime, you shouldn't have to worry about whether or not a person's given bail without consideration to whether or not they pose a danger to you or to your community. Witnesses in, in these cases shouldn't have to worry about it either. If a person's bailed, the people that are affected by it, the victim, the victim's family, their communities, the places where these crimes occur, should have the peace of mind to know that the judge has considered whether or not they pose a danger to that community. The amendment would need to get approval by voters, which Christie said he hoped would happen in November, after which lawmakers would produce legislation that would set more specific guidelines and create a workable system. In the second half of his press conference, the governor took the opportunity to make a spirited defense of his nominees, including his picks for the state Supreme Court, and once again, his pick for education commissioner. Christopher Cerf, who's been serving as acting commissioner for 14 months now, was scheduled to finally get a hearing before a Senate committee Thursday, but Chairman Nicholas Guattari announced that that hearing is on hold now, while senators try to figure out whether Cerf is a resident of Montclair or Montgomery. Senator Ron Rice has been blocking Cerf's nomination, which many feel is what prompted the move to Somerset County, where the senator there has signed off on Cerf. The governor had some fresh invective for Rice on that issue today. If it weren't for the completely baseless use of senatorial courtesy by Senator Rice, um, he would have been confirmed a year ago. Um, and then when he got this place in Montgomery, nobody would care less where his residence was. Um, and so um, the fact is that, uh, you know, if senatorial courtesy is causing, you know, some heartburn down the hallway, then maybe they should police better um, the random way that some of their members use it. Surf has complicated the matter a bit himself, though. He was unclear in an interview last week about what address is on his license and how long he's actually lived there. But the governor says this is just more politics from the Democrats, and that, like his high court nominees, once there's a hearing, Surf will get Senate approval. In Trenton, I'm David Cruz, NJ Today.